everybody. It's Lauren Sayeski with Team Steel San Diego Homes. I'm out here on 2140 Holly Lane checking out this home and it's on a nice quiet street here in Escondido. It's a pretty nice day but you've got some mountain views over here. Again you can tell that the street and neighborhood's pretty quiet. Uh, it's about 1230 and not a lot going on. So we'll head in here. Looks like they've got a two car garage, nice front yard. Grass looks like it's in great shape. Got some butterflies flying around. <laughs> it looks like on both sides of the entrance of the home, there are gates. Um, so if you wanted to come in on either side, there's a pool on this property. So that's nice for if you have a barbecue or anything like that. Here's the entrance to the home. It's got a double door entry and a nice little um, entryway porch area here. We'll head inside the house now. So you walk in, um, they've got this tiled entry with a step down into kind of a formal sitting room um, and dining area. I'll hang out here in the middle here so you can check this out. And there's two entries. We can kind of come around here. This would be, I think, your living room. Beautiful um, vaulted ceilings in here. Got a beautiful view of the pool and spa. Meticulously cared for yard, it looks like. Everything looks great out there. This is a really large TV. <laughs> so you've got a lot of space here above the fireplace. Looks like the fireplace goes wall to wall, so that's really nice. Great for your Christmas stockings and decorating. So we'll come into the kitchen now. It's a really nice kitchen too. I like the detail on the cabinetry. Again, you're looking out into your really pretty backyard from your kitchen sink. You've got stainless steel appliances in here, granite countertops, lots of storage. It's not a huge kitchen, but it's still got a lot of storage going on in here. Nice backsplash as well. It looks like a glass tile backsplash. So we'll go check out the bedrooms and then I can take you guys outside. Here in the hallway, they've got these huge closets. Take a little, yeah, it's got a lot of stuff in there. Tons of linens and a safe. Really nice amount of storage. And right here to our right is the hall bath. It's been nicely updated. Looks like they've got um, either a marble looking or an actual marble vanity here. That's beautiful. A nice little nook right here for some storage. And a seems to be recently redone tub and shower combo in here. Right here, it looks like is the master. Really pretty views out the window. Let you guys take a look around in here. Good size bedroom. It looks like, a, I think that's a king size bed. They've got side tables, a little storage unit here, a dresser here. You've got the closet behind me. Nice view out the window here. It's just um, their fence, but they've got it like a bougainvillea on it. So it is a nice view out the window. Here's the bathroom. I missed the light in here. I'm sorry. There we go. So additional closet right here for, you know, toiletries in the bathroom. It looks like they've redone this. What's a little interesting, I think I should kind of note, is that the shower, if you look down, it you step down into the shower. So although this was recently redone, it looks like they've got the nice stone, pebble, kind of a travertine looking tile. I'm not sure if that is something that you guys like or don't like. Um, I mean, it wouldn't really bother me because it's updated, but you know, I don't know if you have um, you know, any preference for that. But just want to make sure there's a note. And I believe this is the garage. Yeah, off your master bathroom. So that's a little different. We'll come in here so you guys can take a look here in here as well. So there is another door 
over by the car over there um, to the exterior. So I'm not sure why they <laughs> kept that um, to come through the master bathroom like that. Very interesting. Another thing to note, sorry, I'm kind of bringing you guys around right here. If you look down, there is a crack um, in the slab in the garage. That doesn't necessarily mean that there's anything wrong with the house. Again, I just want to note that for you guys. Um, doesn't look too concerning, but just one of the only, you know, things that I'm seeing to point out here. Okay, so we'll go check out the one other bedroom here. I'm sorry, there's two other bedrooms. It's a guest bedroom here. Really beautiful view out the window here. This one, um, they have a garden in the yard as well, so it looks out to the garden beds. Good size, mirrored closet doors in here. I like the flooring in here as well. This room has tile and they're using it as an office. Again, looks out to the yard and the pool though. Okay, looks like we've got a closet with just the systems in it here. That does, uh, the Lennox is a newer system, so that's good. And we'll go check out the outside now. stand here for a second this is right off of your living room and kitchen you've got a covered patio here it doesn't look to be in the best shape um, on the top there's a couple you know spots where you can see through it this kind of 70s vinyl I'm not, I'm not even sure what it is it's like a fiberglass maybe um, so there's a little bit of damage in it something maybe you would want to think about um, what is nice over here is you've got a little bar area coming out the kitchen window. This is great for entertaining during the summer. Um, you know, you can also have it as just kind of like a taco bar or something like that. Beautiful pool. The coping and the tile and the um, plaster all look like they're in great shape. We'll come over here into the yard a little bit deeper. Here's the garden area. around the garden for a second and there's actually a quite a nice side yard here and this is where um, the exterior door from the garage opens up so we'll come all the way down here just so you guys can check it all out and there's also a gate so if you did have friends come over or any wet kids or anything you could just send them out this way kind of nice another area to store your trash bins and everything and then there was the entrance to the garage. There's the master bedroom. Okay. And I'll go around this way. Just give you a different view. Lots of different little seating areas here. Great place to entertain. So there's a seating area over here. There's a bar outside the kitchen, the seating area right outside the slider, another seating area over there by the hot tub you can take a look at. So I am seeing now that I'm a little bit closer to the coping here that it's essentially like a little bit of caulk that they put outside the, co the coping. I can stop right here and show you. That may be an issue. Take a look down there. That's about an inch, inch and a half where um, basically the sidewalk could be shifting. Um, you know, I'm not, I, I'm not a pool guy, I don't know for sure. I do have a pool, but um, that's not normal. It's something that will definitely come up on an inspection report. You could also maybe ask these sellers about it. There's a little bit more damage here next to the swan. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can see that on here. Okay, um, but like I said, other than that, you know, everything looks pretty good. There is a little bit of kind of a, looks like maybe it just needs a good cleaning or something. A um, little 
little bit of damage here on the tile by the jacuzzi I want to show you guys again just um, face it down and hopefully you guys can see it there's some missing tiles there that'll definitely come up on the report and then I'll show you over here some missing tiles as well that's gonna need to be addressed can you guys see that yeah so it's the jacuzzi that's got some some tile issues here Come back this way. This looks like the pool equipment. Excuse me. Um, you know, again, I have a pool, but I don't know too much about it. That does look like an older filter. It's labeled filter. <laughs> uh, you know, you can just tell by looking at it that's a little bit older. Older. Um, the pool pump there, though, this looks pretty new. It has an Energy Star rating on it, so that's good. When you got to run it, it's energy efficient. And then here's your air conditioning unit and another gate, like I said, on both sides. So you can send people on either side of the house um, to come through into the backyard. And you've got another gate here, kind of, I think it's just privacy. Okay, guys. So that's it for this house in Escondido. I hope you liked it. Let us know what you think. And that's Team Steel San Diego Homes here in San Diego. Feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email. We'd love to show you guys some properties.